Hi and welcome to the Market Outlook. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the Nasdaq 100 and the S&P 500. So it'll be a bit different where we'll just be focusing on the indexes as a whole. And that's the reason why I'm bringing out this analysis right now. So what we have here is the hourly time frame for the Nasdaq 100. You can see it's a very good bullish price action currently trading at this price level, 13,950. And you can see that it retested this newly formed support with nice wicks over here showing buyers are coming in at this support level and pushing prices up. This support zone is very critical because back in May, you can see that prices were pushed down from this supply zone, brought down from a double bottom and for the end of May to the early June, price action has been struggling to break through this supply zone. Pardon my language or my tongue twister. So essentially, price action managed to break through, retested the newly formed support, and right now we're seeing this bullish green candle forming. Looking at the RSI, the green line right here, the RSI is actually bouncing off the TDI line, showing quite a good bullish price action, good momentum is coming in. And then you can see the, the yellow line, which is the TDI line, the 50-day lagging indicator is still in the buy zone above the 50 level. So all in all, the Nasdaq 100 is in a very good bullish setup. If I were to take a position in the Nasdaq 100, I would. So this gives me confidence in placing future trades. Next one, we look at the S&P 500. So for the S&P 500, I would say it has a slightly better bullish setup. If you look at the four-day time frame, similarly to the Nasdaq, you can see that price action fails to break through the previous high for S&P 500, buyers came in at the 50-day EMA and pushed price up. So you can see this bullish price action where it's trading currently at 4,243. So having reached all-time high in the previous few minutes, you can see that the momentum in the stock market is actually pretty high. And you can see also the RSI, the green line, has broken through the yellow line, which is the TDI line, broken through the yellow line. And right now, the TDI line is also in the buy zone. So all in all, momentum is good, price action is good. And of course, we would like to ideally see a good green candle close above the previous high, retouch this newly formed support line and bounce back higher. So all in all, we can infer that the whole market as a whole is really doing pretty well. And why I'm bringing this up is because recently there has been inflation fears. And in my opinion, I think it's overblown. Of course, when we trade, I'm not telling you to go all in, but you have to trade with risk management. But I'm saying that there can be more confidence in the overall market as a whole if you're bullish on the market. And if I pop it up on the screen right here, you can see the inflation data. So essentially, recently, just about two hours ago, inflation data looks pretty good. You can see the green numbers, which shows that the numbers released for inflation data has beaten expectations. And normally when it beats expectations, we expect the stock market to go down because inflation, if it's too high, it will force the Federal Reserve to raise rates and when Federal Reserve raises rates, it will affect the companies that require borrow money and interest rates is a critical component in borrowing money to fund their growth, to fund their projects and to grow as a company. So ultimately it will affect their bottom line and stock markets will tank. When we look at this inflation data and we are seeing that, hey, the technical analysis picture is showing a very good picture and we can infer two things this despite good inflation data there's bullish setup so that means that a lot of the inflation fears have been overblown and secondly we will need much higher inflation numbers to scare the market to cause a so-called inflation fear cause crash so this is very good bullish signs for the stock market as a whole i hope you guys are taking articles that are scaring everyone with inflation fears with a bit of pinch of salt. So right now we can comfortably say that the price action and the indexes and a healthy bullish setup. 
and we can expect prices to go further up from the current levels. So I hope that this video has given you some value. If it did, do remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.